days. Look, Rick, there's nothing we can do about Luke right now. Let's talk about something else. Not about Scotty. He wouldn't tell you what he was up to. No, it has something to do with the sports center money, that's all. Yeah, and you know Scotty, he never says anything until after the fact. Well, it sounds to me like he was conducting his own investigation. Fine, he should have been consulting with us. You know, Rick, I still what? think he has something to do with it. Unfortunately, the evidence shows otherwise. Do you believe it? I don't have any choice at this point, Claudia. I really don't. Well, you know, personally, nothing would make me feel happier to know that he wasn't involved. Would you stop standing up for him? Why not? He's a friend. Or at least he uh, was a friend until I started making accusations. Brian, the evidence you were handed, it would be very difficult for anybody to come up with a different conclusion. Still, I should have asked him first. Yes. Oh. Hey. Hello. Hello. Listen, we were just over at uh, Kelly's. Thought we'd stop by, see if there's any news about Laura. The last word is that Luke is on an airplane bound for Europe. There is a possibility that Laura is with him, and Robert got an anonymous phone call saying that they had uh, gotten Luke out of the way. Do they know who's behind him? Unfortunately, they don't even know the destination other than somewhere in Europe. You said Laura might be on the plane? Robert thinks there's a good possibility of that. Well, at least that's something. Something, yes. We can wait. That's all. Rick, what about Scotty? I don't mean change the subject, but uh, did he talk to you about the sports center money? A couple of days ago, yeah. Well, what did he say? Did he confess? He didn't confess because there is proof that he was probably not involved with it. What kind of proof? He showed me his bank book, and there was $2,600 in there. Apparently, he's been saving for some time. It was legitimate. His money. It's incredible. He told me the same story. I didn't believe him. I don't think Scotty really feels that anybody's going to believe much of what he says these days. Well, I sure don't. He could have faked that bank book made up the whole story. That is true, Claudia, it is. But how do you account for what he's doing now? I don't know. It's probably just one of his tricks. I don't know. What do you mean? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is he doing now? Apparently, he is trying to locate the thief himself. He knows who did it? No, he's not talking to us about it. That's half the problem. Right. I see. I'm sorry, Rick. Why? I'm sorry for all the pain Scotty's caused you. Lee, it's not your fault. I'm sorry for coming down on you the other day in Kelly's. You are not responsible for Scotty's actions. It doesn't mean I don't feel responsible. Oh. Boy, is Scotty lucky. Between the two of you, he doesn't have to shoulder any of the guilt at all. You two will carry the whole burden. Waterfront Clinic. Rick, it's Roberts. Some encouraging news for a change. <laughs> well, I am ready for some. Let's have it. Okay, well, Luke got off the plane. What about Laura? Yeah, well, it wasn't there on the plane after all. Well, Robert, who was it then? Well, Jackie's sister? Made, from what we can ascertain from what Luke has told me, it's just another look-alike. Which means... Both Laura's are still missing. Spencer and Temple. You again? Yeah, have you seen my sister? Uh, let's see, Templeton, right? Yes, Jackie Templeton. I've been here before. Sure, kid, I know. Well, have you seen her? I is she upstairs? No, she didn't come back yet. Well, I mean, there's a box. You can see for yourself she didn't pick up a mail. Got to warn her. What was that? Where's David gotten to her already? Hey, what are you mumbling about? Nothing, nothing. I I'm sorry. Wait. Oh, thanks, Rich. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, maybe I better call Leslie. Does she know about any of this? Oh, I haven't told her anything. I didn't want to get her hopes sunk. I think I made the right decision. Yeah. It's really been hard on her, hasn't it? It's been hard on us all. Scotty! Uh, Rick, uh, 
Blackie, go ahead. Do the honors. Wow, what's going on? Well, we might have found out who stole the money from the sports center. This guy over here has been doing a little Dick Tracy work, and he found a buddy of mine is uh, sporting around a new box. Box? He means the stereo. Yeah, portable stereo. I mean, everything on it. Cassette, everything. And this kid is someone who hasn't got the bread for a bus ticket to Albany. Great, great. Fine. Who is it, Blackie? My buddy, Spike. Or should I say my ex-buddy? Whoa. Well, did you talk to him? I mean, did he say he did it? Well, not exactly. We're just starting to work on this thing. But, man, as soon as I wrap my fingers around that guy's neck, he'll confess. Yeah, and all we got to do now is find this dude. Scotty, talk to him. Ask him. I mean, he could have gotten that box any number of ways. Oh, we'll give him a chance, all right? We'll give him about a second, huh, Junior? Yeah, right. All right, let's get this twerp, all right? You guys check uh, check that factory where his old lady works. Now, try to find out where he, uh, where he got the money for this thing and try to find out where he is. Now, I'm going to check the apartment. Blackie, ask him. All right? Yeah, we'll ask him, all right. We'll ask him. Shall we meet back here? I, uh... No, uh, let's meet at the Croydon. It's more privacy. Yeah. Scotty, this is just as much my business as it is yours. Rick, don't you worry. When we get your money back, we'll let you know. Or what's left of the money. Let's go, guys. Wow. Well, I don't understand Scotty anymore. I mean, it's... It seems sometimes he wants to help, and then... Knife in the back. Well, let's just hope he gets that money back. Maybe some of his self-esteem at the same time. What the hell is that? Hey, it looks like a car is on fire. No, it's just the exhaust. No. <laughs> well, it's amazing, but Thunder Chicken made it. Thunder what? Chicken? What? Yeah, that's the, that's the car, my car, but I'm thinking of calling myself that from now on. It's a long story. Look, Robert said you got out. How did you get out? I jumped. Jumped? Yeah, well, I had a parachute. See, they didn't know I had a parachute. Otherwise, I'm sure they would have thought it was excess baggage and just given me the old heap of hole without it. Look. Mm -hmm. Laura wasn't there. No sign of her. No. No, it was all a trick, Rick. Somebody's playing games with us. Any idea who? Yes, Brian, I think I'm sure who. It's some scum named David Gray, and I'd like very much to remove his arms and legs and beat him severely across the head with them. Careful. Okay. Yeah, well, you save your worries for him. He's gonna need them if I can find him. Fox really getting thick out there. Yeah. What time you got? It's ten after. It's a good sign. Yeah, how so? It's late. Maybe you found something out. And not as much as we found out. Hey guys. Sorry, I'm late. I... Uh, you got a note from your mother? That's yeah, real cute, Junior. Real cute. Two cut it out. Uh, we're just kidding around, Captain. What'd you guys find out? Come on. Well, uh, we talked to her mom on a coffee break. Yeah. Uh, she clammed up until I leaned on her. We got a little physical with her, huh? Hey, man, she's an old lady. I just gave it a concerned buddy routine, and she broke down, weren't saying how worried she is about how much dough he's been spending. What about you? What'd yeah. you find in the apartment? Look at this. Right there, you were right, man. Receipt for the stereo, brand new. $550? That's right, $550. Big bucks. I could have got that thing for $200. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, well, the stereo isn't the only thing he's been buying. His mother says he's a brand new color TV. Color TV, all right. Color TV. That explains this one. Oh, yeah, you got one for that, too? I can't believe it, man. I can't believe that guy's buying yeah, these things retail. Holy yeah, yeah, fancy store. Cow, 600 bucks? I don't understand it. It's a lot of money. Look at this one. This was a doctor bill. This old man's doctor bill. Four big ones right there. Look at oh, it. Oh, these chumps falling bucks left and right. Yeah, and he's leaving quite a trail behind him. If I was him, I would have took the money and slipped down. Yeah, well, hidden in the wall for a few years. Mm. Where is he now? I don't know, man. We can't find him. He's gone. Yeah, well, we better find him before he finds out that we're looking for him and he splits or something. I can't even believe it, man. That guy was my good buddy. Yeah, well, now you know about good buddies. Come on, let's get out of here. Lloyd, Jackie, where are you? Wait a minute. Maybe 
issues with that, that Luke Spencer. Come on, Jake. It's got to be you. Score. Spencer, Spencer. Uh, see Titan. Titan? Titan. Oh, here it is. Luke Spencer, Robert Scorpio, 555-3821. Check the other room. Don't bother. She's not here. How can you be sure? A person rarely runs to what they're running from. We'll see. Whew. You're right. You stay here in case she decides to return. Where are you going? David, look, please, don't hurt her. Yeah. Luke Spencer. Uh, who wants to know? Uh, Laura. What? Listen, lady, maybe you get off making crank calls, but I know my wife's voice, and you're not even a good imitation. Freak. There are laws against what you're doing, you know. Please, it's Laura Templeton. I don't care. What, what did you say? I am Jackie's sister, Laura Templeton. Luke. I'm here. Luke, I'm... Luke, listen. I'm calling to warn you. David is going to kill both you and my sister. You've got to protect her. David Gray? Yes, Gray. He's the one who set you up on the plane. Where are you calling from? The, near the dock. The, the, you know, that phone booth near the dock. Is Gray after you? I think so. Once they find out I'm missing, I'm willing to go. All right, Laura, listen to me very carefully. Can you see the yacht from there? No, the fog. I can't see a thing. I'm afraid. Look, I don't know what to do now. Stay there. Do you hear me? Just stay where you are. I'm coming to get you. Don't move. All right, but hurry. I'm on my way. What's on the agenda? Well, I'm going to take a shower, and I guess you're on your own. It's pretty foggy out there. Are you scared? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, are you afraid to walk home alone in the fog? Well, now that you mention it, I would prefer to have a nice feminine hand to hold. Well, like I said, I'm going to go take a shower. I wonder if Luke's back at the yacht. No, I doubt it. We had a big head start on him. Well, if you want, you can wait up in my room, and then after I get cleaned up, we can go back over there together. What a great idea, togetherness. And you could use a shower yourself. Oh, I've got a better idea. Why don't we take one together and save time? <gasps> I don't think it was an invitation. What's us talk about Hey, lady, your system. Ah, what the heck is my business? All finished. What? Watering the plants in the examining room. Looking at. Fog. Yeah, spooky, isn't it? Reminds me of the night that Laura disappeared. Yeah. Um, I think it reminded Luke, too. Did you see the way he walked out of here? Yeah, I did. 
Well, Doctor, uh, maybe we should be closing up. Would you start without me? Oh, yeah. Got a little call I should make. Yes, Leslie Weber, please. Hi. It's me. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Really. Let's see, I hope things have gone well there. I think it's about time you came home. I waited to call me because I just didn't want you to worry. Unfortunately, it's all over now. Leslie, we thought we had found Laura. Yeah, yeah, a second ago. No answer. Why don't you try again? Aye, aye. What? No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm doing as I'm told. Right, take your time. Uh, no answer. Well, I feel like hundred dollars. Hundred dollars, huh? I would have said more than that. Feel that draft? I'll tell you, this hotel is the pit. I turned the heater on twenty minutes ago, and it's still cold. Now the Eskimos have a wonderful solution to this. They rub their bodies together. That's not exactly what I was thinking of. No, it's what I was thinking of. I forget it. Well, it's, it's unintentional, but I just have other things on my mind. How many guesses do I get? Well, actually, I was just thinking about Laura. What else is new? Not my Laura, Laura Spencer. She must have been really something special. All those people in Beecher's Corners, they were so concerned. Like, she really touched them somewhere deep and really beautiful. Well, Luke had a hand in it. They were, they were very special together. Everybody loved them. Listen to us. Can you, did you hear, did you hear what you're saying? I'm talking in the past tense. Now, why do I always do that? I don't know, but we better just cool it when Luke's around. Yeah. Robert, can you look at this? What is it? Is this your sister's handwriting? Absolutely. She must have been here. Laura was here. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be fine now. You come back to the yacht with me. Oh, I've got so much to tell you. I know. I know. Come on. Where's Jackie? Where's uh, Jackie? She's Jackie's there. all right. She's with Robert. They'll meet us at the yacht. Now, come on, baby. It's all over. It's gonna be fine. It's all okay. It's all right. <laughs> 